And I was like, take the phone, take the phone. I don't know how they saw my phone because it's like zipped up in my pocket and everything. That was the luckiest day ever. Because if I didn't fall, <laughs> they'll both be dead. <laughs> So let me break down what happened. I got mugged on Tuesday morning around 8 o'clock. So I wake up at 20 to 8 to start my run. So once I got out of bed, got on all my clothes, my running shoes, I go for, I stretch and I go for my run. And while I'm running, I, I pass over two bridges and I take this corner and I see two guys there. And the one guy doesn't have a face um, mask on and he's like, he has freckles and he's like smiling at me and it's like, like this sketchy smile so like I see this guy smile and I was like yeah this guy's sketchy dude and I like run I run past him he just like had that smile where you just like okay so anyways I run past him and I sprinted because I had a, a hoodie on so if I turn my head the hoodie does this you see like so I couldn't see so I just sprinted and then I just I didn't think twice because I constantly pass people and then um but these guys just look sketchy and then I turned around and came back because it's the only way home so once I turned around and was running back to my house, um, I saw these guys walk up to this place that's not a dead end. You, it's a two-way thing like this. And they just, they walked all the way up and then they like saw me and started walking down. So I was like, what the heck, what, what's wrong with these dudes? And then, um, so I was like, and here's the photo of me. You can see the photo of me running and then these guys are walking down to where my path is. So then you see in this photo, that I was gonna, I was gonna overtake them on the grass. You see, because I was like, these guys look sketchy. Let me just overtake them on the grass. I don't like because they take up the whole pathway. Normally, people move out the way for, for runners. They normally move onto the grass and stuff. So these guys didn't do that, and I decided to walk, run on the grass to overtake. Then this guy jumped out with a knife. It was one of those knives that um you get in a toolbox that you like you push up. You know those knives like you push up. Anyway, so. He had a knife and he jumped at me like this and then I turned around to run. I slip on the grass because it's wet because it was, it was like early in the morning so there's dew. So as I run on the grass I see the knife and then I turned around and I slipped. Dude, literally in that moment I was like this can't be some... I feel like a freaking girl in a horror movie. You know when the girls just fall and fall and fall and fall? Bro, it literally felt like in that moment I was just like this can't be happening. It's like my mind went like a little crazy and then as I turned around I fell and then I was gonna get back up up I did martial arts Krav Maga and um, it's like I did Krav Maga it's like a sort of training where it teaches you self-defense and puts you in scenarios and all of that I like haven't gone for like a year now and it came back to me like this literally I thought of everything what to do and then I was lying on the ground like just chilling on the ground okay and I was about to get up and then he came and um, he pushed me down and had the knife and he was doing this, okay? Like this constantly with the knife. I was like, okay, okay, okay. And I put my hands up and there was two of them. So I couldn't see the second guy. And so the first thing I thought of was how to take the knife out of his hand. I was gonna grab his hand, kick him in the balls and then hit him in the throat. I was gonna be like, okay. But I couldn't see the second guy and I thought that the second guy had another knife and was behind me. So I was submitted because that's the smartest thing to do, is to just give them what they want. The guys weren't hurting me, they just wanted something. So I saw that I didn't need to attack and I didn't know who was behind me because that would have been a different scenario. If he stabbed me, then I would have had to fight for my life. Anyway, so he's like doing this and I was like, take the phone, take the phone. I don't know how they saw my phone because it's like zipped up in my pocket and everything. That was the luckiest day ever. Because if I didn't fall, <laughs> they'll both be dead. Anyways. So he's like, nah, give me your guy, I guess, I don't know what he was saying, okay? Anyway, so I was like, yo, ch chill, chill, just take it, take it. And his friend like went through my pockets, he was smacking me down, like going through all my pockets. I only had my phone and headphones on, it was an iPhone, so it was pretty useless to them. Anyways, um, it was an iPhone 11. So they took it out and then he told me to get up. He's like, get up, get up, don't run the other way. And he's like, he did this in front of my face. I was like, okay, chill. And then I started running the other way. I had to run right around to get to my house. And my house was like 100 meters this way, but it was like 300 meters that way. And I had to run the 300 meter way. So I had to run all the way around the way, get in, get inside, tell my dad what happened. We get in the car, we go drive to find these dudes. And we couldn't find them. Then I rushed home to change all my passwords, to block my iPhone, to sit on side. You know, the full thing to um, block your iPhone. I literally turned my iPhone into a brick. So it's basically useless to them. 
And um, so yeah, that's basically what happened. Well, it was kind of crazy. I think like I took it pretty well. I'm doing well. If anyone's asking, and I'm pretty chilled. But I did have to get a brand new phone. My phone luckily was insured, but um, wasn't fully insured. So I still bought myself a new phone because like <laughs> TikTok pays well. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to follow me on social media. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for watching. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys, okay, you can't really say if you enjoyed this video, it wasn't really enjoyable.